In this video, we're going to be going over editing and arranging in the soundtrack. As we unpack editing and arrangement, we're going to look at three different things. How to identify different sections of a song, describing each section's characteristics, and using the editing tools to complete our arrangement. In the beginning of the song, we first have the intro. This is the part of the song that's used to catch the listener's attention by building suspense and anticipation. Now, it normally lacks the full instrumentation of the song, and the duration can vary, but is usually between four and eight bars for urban and pop music. And if you look in Soundtrap, up here on the ruler, each of those whole numbers, one, two, three, four, represents a bar. So your intro would be the first four to eight numbers on the ruler. Your chorus is the main part of the song, and this normally contains the full instrumentation. So if you have 10 sounds in your beat, normally all 10 would be playing during the chorus because it's the climax of your song. Or kind of like the big fight scene in an Avengers movie, this is what everything has been leading up to. Then after the chorus, we have the verse. The verse would kind of unpack it a little bit more and let you see more detail. It's normally between eight and 16 bars depending on the type of music. And it shouldn't be overly produced, right? So it should have more sounds playing than your intro, but it shouldn't have as many sounds playing as your chorus. Now that we know the sections, we need to start editing them. So there are four basic editing tools that we will use to make our beat longer. Split regions, you can see that the keyboard shortcut to split region is holding the command button and pressing the letter E. We can duplicate regions, which means make a copy of it by holding the option or control button, clicking on it and dragging. We can mute regions, which means we can make certain sounds not play or not be able to be heard by holding the command button and pressing the letter M on a Mac or a control M on a PC. And we can loop our regions, which means we can make the same sound play over and over by clicking and dragging right here on this curved little arrow thing. So right now in this beat, I'm gonna show you how to set up your intro, your chorus, and your verse using the editing tools that we just said. So the first thing that I'm going to do I'm going to hold the command button on my keyboard and press the letter A. That's going to highlight every individual sound. Then I'm going to drag my purple line. This is called my playhead. I'm going to drag it to the beginning of bar five. Now I'm going to make a cut straight down that line on all my sounds by holding the command button and pressing the letter E. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to highlight every sound after the purple playhead, and I'm going to loop it out. To select it, I'm going to put my mouse here in the empty white area. I'm going to click, hold. I'm going to drag down. You should see a little purple box, and I'm going to drag over to the left just a little bit to highlight my sound. I have four bars for my intro. Right here from five to the end of 12 is eight bars for my chorus. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so you can see after bar 12, we go into the verse, but it sounds the exact same as the chorus. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight all my sounds again. And now I'm going to start splitting more regions. All right. So I'm gonna start right here on number 13. This is the beginning of my verse, Command E. All right, now I'm going to select some more sounds in here and I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna split this region in half right here on bar 17, Command E. All right, so now that I have my verse uh, kind of in three different pieces. So now I can start making my verse sound a little bit different from my chorus. What I'm going to do now is zoom out so that way I can, you know, make sure I have enough room to see what I'm doing. 
All right, now I'm going to go through and figure out what can I take out. I'm just going to take a few guesses. Um, I'm going to mute this, so Command M. So now you can see is white. It's kind of grayed out, so that means it's muted. So I'm going to keep the piano playing. I'm going to mute that. I'm going to mute this. And let's say I'm going to mute my crash, Command M. Cool, so you see uh, those sounds are muted. And now I'm going to play it from the beginning. So you see how the verse sounded a little different, but I'm not done yet. So I'm gonna go ahead really quickly. I'm gonna finish the whole beat, all right? So I like how that dropped down. Uh, one thing I wanna do, I'm gonna zoom in. You can trim regions. So if you put your mouse in the bottom left or right corner, you can adjust the end so you can move it and kind of make it, you know, kind of cut it short. I'm going to make everything actually in this part of the song cut short except for the drums. I'm going to bring those over. Then I'm going to bring that back. So actually, I'll, I'll just do eight bars on the verse. So I'm going to delete that. Now, and all we have to do to make it longer is duplicate the chorus and the verse. So just two choruses, two verses. Intro, chorus, verse, chorus, verse. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click in an empty white area again. I'm gonna highlight all of everything except for the intro. And I'm gonna hold the option button. And I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag over. Once I get it right after the sound before, just let go of the mouse. So now we have intro, chorus, verse, chorus, verse. <laughs> And there you have it, all right? In future videos, we're gonna go into some more advanced editing tricks, how to add effects, and then how to start adding your own sounds and start remixing the beat and making original beats. Uh, thank you for tuning in and best of luck in your project.